My name is Janice Mingo, and my story today is Packed for Heaven. Some years ago, my mom, dad, and most of my siblings migrated to Antigua, where they lived for a number of years before changing residence to the United States. My mom was a faithful servant of God who served her church in many capacities, in many prominent positions. This faithfulness was also demonstrated in her dedication to her family, whom she made contact with on a regular basis. My son created a Skype and Facebook account so that she could keep in, the, in contact with her eight children who were scattered in various parts of the United States and in Guyana and Antigua. My mom had last visited Guyana in 1989 to attend my wedding. So you can imagine how excited she was when in 2016, the Pleasant Seventh-day Adventist Church planned a homecoming and she had that opportunity of visiting Guyana again. She was so excited. Her suitcase was all packed and she was ready to go. As was her custom, she Skyped me every Sunday and this Sunday was just about two weeks before the Pleasant Home come in and we spoke for about one hour and 15 minutes. During this time, I observed on a few occasions that she was resting her hand on her head and resting it on a desk next to which she was sitting. With some concern, I asked her if she was okay, and she assured me that she was fine. She said that she was all packed, but she was a bit disappointed that I was not going to be making that trip. But could you imagine the shock that I received when the following day, I received a message from my sibling that my mom had had a stroke later the day and had been taken to the hospital. She remained conscious and alert until they administered some medication which was supposed to restore some impaired mobility on one side of her body. Instead, the medication resulted in her going into a comatose state from which she never recovered until her passing. A daily vigil was held up every day by the family where services were conducted in our room in the hospital. On occasions, I joined on Skype from the UK, and we had glimpses of hope when we saw her lips move slightly during our singing, as if she was trying to sing along with us, and some slight twitching of her toes. There was a possibility that she could hear what we were saying, but could not respond. After more than six weeks in a coma, she eventually succumbed shortly after being transferred to another facility. Many questions have been left unanswered. Why didn't God allow my mom to make that long anticipated trip to Guyana? Couldn't he have allowed her to at least see her beloved country for one final time before going to her rest? We may not know the answers in this life, but one thing is sure, the packing of her suitcase was symbolic of the packing and preparation for eternity, where one day she will spend time with God in heaven, and where we, as a people who are preparing for the soon coming of Jesus, will also be reunited with our loved ones who have passed away before Jesus came. So I would like to encourage you to keep preparing for eternity. Pack your suitcases with all of the things that we can take to heaven from this life. And may we, when Jesus comes, be reunited with our loved ones, never more to pardon. I thank you.